What is up buds, it's me back again and in this video, I'm going to show you how I edit my videos. Honestly speaking, I'm not that type of guy who likes to edit videos, I'm not very good at video editing and I don't use complex softwares like Adobe After Effects or Premiere Pro to edit my videos because it consumes more time to edit videos in those softwares and it's also quite difficult to learn those softwares. So from the time I made my YouTube channel, I've been using Filmora Wondershare Video Editor to edit my videos and trust me guys, it's the best simple video editor available on the internet right now and uh, it's very easy to use and even though you have no previous experience with video editing, even though if you're a noob in video editing you will still be able to get started with Filmora Wondershare video editor and you will be able to make some awesome videos with this Filmora video editor. So in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Filmora Wondershare video editor, how to make some basic edits and how to export your video in Filmora Wondershare video editor. You know what without further ado let's get started. So first off, you can go to the official website of Filmora to download the latest version of Filmora Video Editor. This is the link, I'll leave the link in the description, so go ch check out the description. And once you're onto this link, you'll find a page like this. You can choose your operating system, I'll be choosing Windows, and uh, just click on the free download button to proceed with the download. And uh, just download the uh, Filmora setup file. So once you download the setup file of Filmora, just double click on it and run it give it the administrative rights and you can see a window like this so just click on install and make sure you check this I've read and accepted the license agreement and click on install and that's going to install Filmora Wondershare video editor on your computer so as soon as you are done with installing the Filmora Wondershare video editor you can go ahead and right away open the Filmora video editor here is how the um, opening or loading screen looks like Right now you will see a window like this. The first thing you need to do is select the project aspect ratio. So you will find four options here and you can choose one aspect ratio based on your needs. For example, if you choose the last aspect ratio 9 is to 16, it's uh, portable for mobiles and this one is uh, for Instagram and uh, you know each aspect ratio has its own applications. You can choose one uh, based on your needs. Anyways, the most commonly used aspect ratio is the first one which is a 16 is to 9 widescreen so I'll be selecting that and now you'll find uh, four options full feature mode easy mode instant cutter and action cam tool so in this video I'll be covering up this full feature mode and trust me guys it's very easy to uh, use this full feature mode even though if you have no uh, previous experience in video editing so yep let me select full feature mode Alright, so there we go, here is how the video editor looks like and if you want to change the name, you can just click on this light skin and uh, the video editor changes into the light skin. But honestly, I don't like this light screen, so uh, you know, I put it always as the dark skin. So this region over here is what we call as the library, your project library and uh, over here you can import any video file or any image file or any audio file. So for example, let me import... Uh, sample video so as you can see this is one video file so in order to import it you need to just click on this import and select import media files and a file dialog box will come up on your screen so just browse to uh, the folder which contains the video file so this is my video file so let me double click on it and there we go it's automatically imported over here this is the video file and once you imported it into your project library you can add it to the timeline by clicking on this plus icon over here so just click on the plus icon or simply drag and drop it into this region over here which we call as a timeline and uh, once you drag a video or an audio file or an image file into this timeline you can now make changes or make edits to this particular video file or audio or image file so in the same way uh, I'll show you uh, how to import image and audio files as well so just go ahead uh, once again go to import and select import media files and this is an audio file as you could see so just double click on it and it's added and in the same way you can even import an image file this is an image and if you double click on it it's it's imported so you can drag and drop this audio into the audio region just like this and that's it and in the same is the case with the image file you can just drag it and place it in the main video uh, region or in the PIP region over here. So, yep. Uh, anyways, right now, firstly, I'm going to show you some basic edits which you can make to the video. As you can see, this is one video and um, the first thing is you can actually color grade this video and in order to color grade this video, you can just double click on the video clip and then you just click on advanced 
and uh, here it shows you the preview so here you can uh, just mess up with your settings like this uh, in order to make your video look rich or professional you know however you need it so we have plenty of options right here uh, you can choose a, a 3d LUT and you can adjust the exposure and you can adjust the brightness you can adjust the contrast vibrance saturation and uh, you can uh, increase the highlights or decrease it shadows whites blacks and you know what uh, yeah even when I use this video the first time I, I don't know the meaning of any of these things but eventually you'll get used to it for the first time if you're editing the video then you should probably mess up with these settings and mess up with these settings just mess with them and uh, you know just just make sure that your video looks professional and as you need it so uh, let me just do some changes right so once you think your video looks good uh, you can just click on this ok button but if you want to make use of this filter which you applied to your video uh, to let's say some other video then you can just click on the save as preset and you can save this preset let's say test preset and just click on ok so this preset is now going to be saved which means you can apply the same options for another video clip so yep once you're done doing it you can actually click on this button over here and click on side by side view and it shows you the before and the after so as you can see the after is slightly better than the before I think anyways let's click on ok and the changes are applied as you could see so that is how you color grade it and of course as I told you you have to mess with all the settings and only then you will uh, learn about that and the next thing is uh, you can actually detach the audio from the video file so uh, if you can see closely over here there are some lines like some graphs or something like that uh, below this video clip and that actually indicates sound that indicates that this video clip contains sound at that particular region so in order to detach or in order to remove the audio just right click on it and select audio detach and that's going to remove the audio so as you can see the the lines disappeared uh, uh, below the video and this is the audio which is detached or removed from the video so you can delete this if you want or you can even keep it and make changes with it and the next thing is you can even cut the video or the audio or any image file which is in the in the timeline so in order to cut this you can just go to some region of the video so let's say this video uh, uh, yeah, until here it's all garbage so I want to cut this uh, video I want to start the video from here so what I'll be doing is I'll select the video and I'll select this uh, scissor icon over here and that's going to uh, cut the video uh, right there so I'm going to remove this excess part like that and I'm going to do it uh, you know what firstly let's let's not detach the audio yep so uh, right and by the way if you want to undo your changes you can just hold ctrl Z anyway so uh, I want to cut the video from here so I'll just uh, select the video and say and click on this scissor icon and that's going to cut it so if you want to delete it just right click and select delete and there you go the video is now trimmed and we have the video from where we need so, so that okay I'll start the video from here and yep so usually I record my videos using my DSLR and I use an external microphone to record my audio because the microphone on my DSLR is not so good, the audio quality is not so good. So I basically use an external microphone to record. Uh, that external microphone I connected to my laptop while recording, so which means that the video and audio are saved separately. So I need to sync them both in order to make the video. So as you can see here, if you can listen to the audio, I hope you're able to listen to the audio. If you can listen to the audio, it's not very clear, it's not very professional. So this recording here which says recording uh, 303 in the brackets it's actually recorded with my professional microphone so the audio quality is better than my DSLR microphone. So what I need to do is I need to sync these two files so which means I need to sync the audio I need to sync this audio with this video. So you can do that easily by just uh, cutting the video for example you can see even here there's sh it shows some lines or graphs like that and uh, the lines as you could see they are starting from this region which means the audio actually started from this region which means all this region from here to here is empty it, 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 we don't need it so I'm just going to cut it and uh, you can just cut it by uh, clicking this uh, scissor icon and you can delete the excess part and I'll adjust it like this 
and so I hope uh, the, uh, the audio is synced. Uh, there is some disturbance in the background if you could notice. That disturbance is because of the audio which already exists in this video. Like, uh, I mean the audio which is recorded with my DSLR microphone. So in order to mute the audio of uh, the video, you can just right click on this video file and select mute. That is one way to do it. Uh, and there is another way to do it. You can actually say audio detach and the audio is going to be removed and you can just delete the audio from the video and that's it you now only have the video and the audio separately this is the video which is recorded with my dslr and this is uh, the audio which is recorded with my external microphone which is good in quality uh, i guess anyways uh, so that you go uh, the audio is actually synced with it and uh, you know what, there is some lagging in this thing, as you can see, so if you want to fix this lagging here, you can just click on this play button over here. So once the rendering is done, you can see that the preview over here is efficient, I mean there's no lag in it or anything like that. So uh, that is it, and uh, also in the same way, I also add music to my videos. Uh, so that the video doesn't get boring or something like that. So in order to add the video uh, as I showed you You can just go to your uh, library and select import import media files and go to the music file Which you want to add to your video. So just click on this video over here This is my sorry. This is my audio file or let's say music So I downloaded it from the U YouTube music library. So it's non copyrighted anyways, so uh, you can just import your uh, music into this library and then once again drag it and drop it into the video, sorry, the audio region over here. Just place it over here and that's it. Now let me play it and uh, yeah, you can notice the, uh, the music is too loud that you can't hear my voice. So in order to reduce the volume of this, uh, this music, uh, just double click on the music and in this thing over here, you will see an option which says a volume. So you can just bring down this volume uh, so that the music is not too loud and the audio is clear enough. Uh, I'll bring it down to let's say 10 or 8, right? So you can bring it down to wherever you like uh, and make sure that the video is, uh, I mean the audio quality is clear enough and the music is not loud in the background and that is it. Leave a comment below. And of course same way you can even cut this uh, music file even. So just select the music file and uh, select cut and that's going to cut the music file. And that's how you cut it. Right, so uh, I guess the video actually ends here. So I'm going to cut the video over here and the audio and the music over here. And I'm going to delete all these files. So this is my final video now. Right, right. Now let's say I want to add an image into this video. I want to add some uh, special effect to the image. So, so as I shown you, so as I've shown you earlier, I've already imported my channel's icon over here. So I'm just going to drag and drop it here into the PIP area, and you can even uh, resize the image like that, and you can position the image anywhere on the screen. So, so it just remains there and tonight. as you could see the preview appears something uh, somewhat lagged so you can just click on this play button to render the preview and uh, yeah and also, once the preview is rendered the preview tonight, so uh, will look fine over there. So you can even add effects to this uh, just double click on it and you will find a bunch of effects okay for example let's say I will uh, use this fade option. Um, so let's preview this. Comment and also show me there some you go. Love it's faded in. in. So you have a bunch of animations over here. You can select between all these animations. And also if you want to add some text to your uh, video, you can just go to this text or credit tab. Just click on this and you'll find various templates, various text templates and you can choose whether you want to add a lower third text or you want to add a subtitle or you want to add an end title or you want to add a title. So the same way you just have to drag it and drop it inside this text region which is available over here. This is the text region and once you uh, insert it into here, uh, let me play it. Once again, there we go, the text actually appeared here. So you can double click on the text to make changes to it. Uh, let me say... Uh, let me enter my name, Tejas Farooq, and below let's say, follow me on Instagram. So you can add any text as you want, and uh, once again you can choose a, a style of the text. Here you can see there are uh, different styles for the text. Uh, yeah, one more thing is if you want to add some music, uh, you will also find uh, some predefined music files over here, which are 
uh, non copyrighted so if you don't know where to search for music to add to your videos you can just click on this music tab and you can download these things uh, if you just double click on it the download will start and you can add these music files right away into your video so once you have finished editing your video you need to export your video and in order to export your video just click on this export button over here and uh, that's going to bring up a uh, pop up like this and over here you need to choose your name uh, the name of the video and you need to choose the destination where you want to choose the uh, save the video file so i'll be saving it on my desktop uh, i've already created a folder which says sample video yep there we go so and also you can choose the format which you want your output video to be so you can choose an mp4 you can choose an avi mov or wmb i'll be choosing wmb and uh, just click on export and the export process should start automatically just like this right so there we go the process of exporting is done so you can just click on find target to find the uh, exported video so yep here is the exported video and let me open it and show you so that is it for this video if so like there this you video, go leave a thumbs up below this is the video also, file subscribe for more awesome and also please videos. note that since my video editor is already registered i have a license for this video editor i don't see any watermark for my video as you can see there is no watermark so that it says filmora video, like anywhere video, on my video because i have a license to my wondershare awesome filmora videos. video editor yeah, but any anyways does. if you don't have a license to this video editor then probably you're going to have a little watermark not a little actually a big watermark on your video which says filmora so if you don't want to uh, have that watermark on your exported video then you can actually go ahead and buy the filmora wondershare video editor and in order, in order to buy this filmora wondershare video editor just click on this icon over here and you can say uh, create create an account just create and just create your wondershare id you can just input your email and you can choose a password so i already have mine i log in with my credentials so once you logged in just click on export and uh, it's going to pop up something like this which asks you to activate your software and as you can see it shows that the trial version ha will have a filmora wondershare watermark like this and the activated version will not have any watermark so in order to buy it just click on this buy now button and you'll be taken to filmora's website like this where you will be able to see the subscription plans so you can choose any one of these subscription plans whichever you think is suitable for you and you can uh, pay and get a license for your wondershare video editor and once you made your payment it's going to automatically give you the license for the wondershare filmora video editor and you will no longer have a uh, watermark on your video like this at the bottom of the video all right that is it for this video if you like this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up below and if you don't like it leave a thumbs down below okay and also do subscribe for more awesome videos and comment down below if you have any doubts regarding this youtube channel and comment down if you want me to make more of uh, the videos about video editing and yep i will be reading all your comments so thanks for watching once again cheers don't forget to hit the subscribe button